Welcome protege. Up to this point you should have a pretty good idea of how to use the digital input output on the Arduino Uno. We showed you how to take input from a switch array and display a different function on the LED array based on the switch input. We showed you how to interface a 16 key keypad and display the key pressed on an LED bar graph and also display the key pressed on the IDE's built-in serial monitor. We showed you how to send commands from the host to the UNO by displaying an output on the LED bar graph based on the command received. We showed you how to control the gate of an N-channel MOSFET to power a DC fan. We showed you how to control servo motors with pulse width modulation. And finally, we showed you how to control a 12 volt air valve with a one channel relay. In this project, we're going to move to the other side of the board and show you how to use the analog input. The Arduino Uno consists of six channels that each sample the analog input with a 10-bit analog to digital converter, or ADC for short. Since it has a 10-bit resolution, that means our digital values will be between 0 and 1023. Once we acquire the digital samples from each input channel, the values are displayed on the serial monitor. For this project, you're going to need a fuel can, six 10 kilo ohm potentiometers, a solderless breadboard, six 8 inch male to male jumper wires, and a jumper wire kit. First, we'll start placing the six potentiometers on the breadboard. You want to make sure that each pin on the potentiometer is inserted into different nodes on the breadboard. After the potentiometers are placed, we can start wiring them up. Each potentiometer consists of three pins and we'll be wiring them so it acts as a voltage divider. Wire pin 1 to the negative rail and pin 3 to the positive rail on the breadboard. Insert an 8 inch male to male jumper wire into pin 2 of each potentiometer. Once you've completed the wiring for the potentiometers, place the breadboard into the bottom storage compartment of the fuel can and go ahead and connect each male jumper wire to an analog input channel. Next grab two male header pins and insert one into the negative voltage rail and the other into the positive voltage rail on the breadboard. Take the banana jack to test lead clip cables and insert the red one into the fuel can's plus 5 volt rail and the black one into the fuel can's ground. Clip the other end of the red cable to the positive voltage rail and the black cable to the negative voltage rail on the breadboard. Okay, the wiring is complete and now we can go over the software in more detail. We begin with a couple variable declarations. We declare six variables. We have A0 value, A1, A2, all the way to A5 value, and we initialize those to zero. Now since we're displaying the digital values on the serial monitor, we have to set up that port. So we do serial.begin, and we're using a baud rate of 9600. Next we do a serial print that just says readings from analog channel 0 to 5. Then we send two new line characters with backslash N. And then we have six columns, A0 all the way to A5. This backslash T is the character for the tab key. Next we go into the void loop function. And this is where we sample the analog input. And to do that, we use a function called analog read. And it takes a single argument, which is the analog input pin that you want to read from. So we read from A0 and store that in, t in the A0 value and we do this for A1 through A5 so we read all of the analog input channels with a series of analog reads so now that we have the digital samples acquired from from each output of the potentiometers we can now start displaying these values on on the serial monitor so we just do a simple serial dot print and we pass in the A0 value 
send the tab character, which is backslash T, then send the A1 value, and we do this until we display all of the values A0 to A5. Next we have a three second delay, and then we start back at the beginning to start acquiring the analog inputs. So next we can power up the fuel can and plug in the USB cable so we can power and program the Arduino. So once you do that, we can pull up the serial monitor. And you should start acquiring digital samples every three seconds. Now to make sure that each channel is working correctly, you can rotate the potentiometer all the way clockwise and then all the way counterclockwise and make sure you get values between 0 and 1023. That's it for this project. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.